I have to admit, crop circles usually appear before harvesting of the crops during the summertime, usually between May and August. We thought 2020's crop circle message relays ended on August 9th, when the last one appeared on Woolstone in Oxfordshire. But we were pleasantly surprised on September the 5th, when one appeared at Churton Bottom in Wiltshire, England. It is a circle divided by three lines, the horizontal two and one from 11 o'clock slash to five o'clock position. The left is white while the right is black. Is it dark versus light? The good versus evil? Or it simply reflects the fact that half the world is struggling with the outbreak while the other half is kind of okay. Hmm. Before we try to put our interpretation on this crop circle, I would like to ask you a few quick questions. First, with the outbreak going all over the world, what do you think the percentage of people is that are infected with a disease? Please note, I do not mean the percentage of people once infected with a virus. We know many infected were not counted and most did not even know that they were infected. I mean the number reported by the governments to the World Health Organization. 1%? 2%? 3%? 5%? 10%? What was your answer? It's 0.6% as of November 1, 2020. That's 46 million 761,000 961 of the 7.7 .7 billion people. Is it lower than you expected? Well, were we brainwashed by media bad news formulas? Mm, actually, no. You may feel this way because half the world is devastated while the other half is more like business as usual. Asia has more than half of the world's population. It has 0.3% population infected, while Africa, the second largest in population, has 0.13% infected. That kept the world average infection rate down. But North America has over 3% infection rate. South America, close to 2%, and Europe at 1.4%. Does now the graphic with the bottom half blank and the top smaller half dark? It's also interesting the crop circle appeared at Churton Bottom, as the bottom half is considered the less developed part of the world. You may balk at our decoding and say, tell me something I don't already know. Well, when the crop circle appeared on September the 5th, the USA had 42,931 reported cases, which is a big drop from the daily high of 79,037 on July 24, 2020, and was only two days before the recent low of 25,854. While Europe thought the pandemic was over and started easing preventative measures, the crop circle is telling us what may be ahead if we let our guard down. Two days later on September the 7th, a simple circle appeared in Marden Copps in Wiltshire. Crop circles in England are famous for being beautiful and complicated. Simple crop circles do sometimes appear, but usually in Hoven, Netherland area. While most crop circle researchers believe are made by different entities who prefer simple drawing styles. But this shape is not only the same shape as reported on 816 AD, but also the first 2020 crop circle in Italy on May 8th. The same shape appeared on July 2 in Hungary, and even in Hampshire on July 21, and now Martin Culp's. Marden means the valley with the pool. Cops means a small group of trees. I said in May when I saw the first crop circle that this crop is about the coronavirus. 
as it appeared the same county and near the city of Ravenna. Nostradamus predicted plague near Ravenna. And when you linked all the Italian cities mentioned in Nostradamus's Book of Prophecy, you get a circle. We decided against saying too much on the two other prior simple circles in 2020. We did not feel like we had much to say then. But now I think I get the warnings. When the crop appeared in early July, Eastern Europe was spared from the outbreak. Hungary had only 4,144 cases. On November 1, it has 79,199 cases. Hungary ranked 59th, is surrounded by Austria ranked 47, Slovakia 68th, Ukraine 21st, Romania 30th, Serbia 79th, Croatia 78th, Slovenia 85th. This crop circle appeared on July 2, when the total of Hungary and the surrounding countries had only 117,091 cases. Less than four months later, on October 31, 2020, the total cases added up to be 999,486, which is 8.54 times more than early July. The world's cases jumped from 11 million to 46 million. Terrible. But the region where the crop circle first appeared seems to be the worst hit area during that time. It now would seem like the simple circle seemed more like a, a dire warning that we missed. But we can't apply the same logic to the July 21 Hampshire crop circle. We all know how bad the UK was hit during this pandemic, but it is actually doing better than the world average. The UK's case count increased 3.55 times from July 2 to October 31, 2020, while the world totals increased 4.22 times. And although Italy increased 2.82 times, Spain increased 4.49 times, while France jumped to top of the European count when its cases increased 8.22 times. So instead of calling this another coronavirus warning, I will go back to our original decoding. This crop circle is made up of hundreds of layers of circles, indicating as making the same mistakes again and again. If we really want to apply the coronavirus to this UK crop circle with our original formula, we can. As most other European countries are being hit with the second wave, the UK is still dealing with the first wave, as authorities have been making the same mistakes again and again. So what's the message in this September Wiltshire Circle? Well, I think it means a severe second wave. A closer look at UK's case numbers. I found it had a huge spike since September 3 from 340,411 to 1,011,460 on October 31. Again, France has done the worst, but this does not mean things won't get worse in the UK. Oof. Then on September 13th, this crop circle appeared in Roundway Divises in Wiltshire. I took a very good look at it and now hesitantly reveal what I saw. I saw two S, one on top of this other, are being twisted together. I searched and confirmed what I suspected when I searched the meaning for SS. Schutzstaffel, the personal guards to Adolf Hitler. I know some may consider my decoding offensive, but it appeared at Roundway Divises. What do you get when you take out the rounded corners of the S in the crop circle? Would you get the sign no one wishes to even talk about? Then let's look at the word devises. 
Sorry, Brits, if I'm mispronouncing that. I believe the word means boundary in Latin. Can this mean twisted borders? With EU threatening to time out UK over Brexit, will the borders between EU and UK get twisted? If so, I think either sides would look at the other as pure evil, which can be a picture as shown in the crop circles. Two broken curved roads not connected to each other. Then this Brazilian crop circle appeared on October the 11th. It appeared in Entre Rios, which means between rivers. And it looks like a celestial drawing of the earth. The solar system and an object coming. Assuming the dot on the left is Earth with the moon in its orbit. The center multi-layered circle is our solar system. The seven layers means Mercury through nuance. Then the object can be an TNO, trans-Neptunian object. Many such objects became scientific hot discussion objects because scientists believe Planet Nine is a TNO. While both Nostradamus and the Chinese prophecy predicted contact with an outside visitor will happen soon, this crop circle can be another possible sign of this highly anticipated meeting. And it came from the same direction as Chinese prophecy Tuibe Tu indicated, the direction behind the sun. Of course, if we don't drag this to outer space, this can mean the pandemic continues to spread in mainland Brazil and may spread to its archipelagos. If this is the warning, then people in Fernando de Noronha need to be careful. I thought we had seen the last of the 2020 crop circles, but another one appeared in Lauacu in Santa Caterina in Brazil. Although I have several different decodings on this, this can be one of the most important crop circle messages in recent years. It is a beautiful, simple triangle inside a circle that is divided by three curves. Despite its simple design, I cannot find one like it during my web search. As for the meaning, I found three possible meanings for a triangle inside a circle. Number one, according to reference.com, the symbol means warding off evil spirits. Members of AA commonly use this to get rid of the power that led them to addiction. Number two, the triangle symbolizes the higher trinity of aspects or spiritual principles. The one circle is divine unity. Number three, the symbol represents the combining of male and female elements, like forming a ting, parental relationship. We can't say which one is right. They could all be right or all be wrong. Instead of telling you what I think it may mean, I will share with you what I found that probably everyone else has missed. The crop circle appeared in Iou, a CU. I don't know Portugal and can't locate the site on the map, but I think the circle maker chose this site for a very important message. I think the circle maker is telling us that we will soon get to see the maker. Why? The location means I owe you. I see you. At this critical time, divine power can't save us all, as our bodies are only temporary holding cells for our souls. We need courage to thrive through the challenges. In a way, we need power to ward off evil. We need to follow spiritual principles and we need guidance from our heavenly parents. It does not matter if you have religious beliefs or not. Your soul won't survive if you don't have a soul now. I wasn't sure if I should bring up another possible message in this crop circle. Many call a triangle inside a circle as a transmutation circle, which makes this hidden message more than scary. Can you imagine how much worse the situation may be if this virus is to mutate again? 
The shape already means transmittable, which we all know how easy it transfers from person to person. But another major mutation? It is something I hope will not happen. This wraps up October 2020 crop circles and most likely the 2020 crop circle season. We have decoded all 53 crop circles. Some of our decodings have already happened. Like this July 25th Hampshire crop circle. I said it looked like the UK is about to lose one of its British overseas territories. On September 16th, Buckingham acknowledged reports of Barbados will be removed by Queen Elizabeth as its official head of state. Well, Barbados is not a British territory, but it somehow decided to keep the Queen as head of state for the past 50 years. So we somehow got it, although not exactly. Another unexpected hit was on July 12, 2020, the Somerset Crop Circle. Inside the three circles, we saw three atoms and a warning sign with a cross, which symbolized death. With my limited knowledge, we thought it looked like three atom helium and stated so in the video published on July 29. Six days later, Beru nitrate exploded, killing 204 and injuring 6,500. The picture does look more like nitrate than helium, but we did get the general idea right. And we said, cool off, or we'll see death. Although we did not have Beirut in mind at all, the words we picked passed a warning. According to Wikipedia, quote, the explosion was preceded by a fire in the same warehouse. But as of October 2020, the exact cause of the detonation is still under investigation. Although we don't know if this was caused by an accident, or a crime. This tragedy could have been avoided if things were cooled off. Hmm. We are neither psychics nor scientists. While psychics may predict things accurately, but they can never show their source. While scientists may show proofs, but none of us can ever understand these so-called proofs. We showed you proof that the whole world saw. We talked about disasters by fire and wind in this year's crop circle, but I won't call that a hit because anyone can predict that. But the British territory and three atoms would be impossible to guess. Whether you believe in the crop circle messages or not, you can't deny it is a mystery yet to be solved. We have been decoding crop circles since 2016 crop circle season. And unlike others, we don't use crop circle pictures because we have been attacked even when we give credit on the pictures we used. We know interpreting these messages cost time and efforts we probably will never get back. But we must share what we find with a few people who appreciate our work. Thank you for watching. This is Ken Peters.